Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start the show off today by sharing a story of hope and a journey that was taken by a Florida Keys young lady. Now, to give you some background, Amanda Bordeaux, she graduated from Florida Keys Community College in May of this year with honors and 115 credit hours. She graduated from high school in June of this year with a 4.0 GPA. She's recently been accepted into MIU to study graphic design. Now, what you don't know is that Amanda has autism. Early on, Amanda fell a couple years behind her peers, and when she was six, her school psychologist actually told her mother, Marcia, that Amanda was mildly mentally retarded and she would grow up to live in a group home folding envelopes. Marsha refused to listen to that, though she never lost hope, and in fact, she used those very words as fighting words. What follows is nothing short of an amazing, amazing story. Marsha, it is such a pleasure having you on the show Thank this you. morning. Now, along with your daughter being such an inspiration, Marsha, you are an inspiration for mothers who have autistic children because you didn't listen to what doctors said, and you just took matters into your own hands. Yeah, when she was um, eight years old and I found out she had autism, um, the neurologist said, I don't know how to educate her. And I knew I didn't have time to figure it out because we were already four years behind her peers. When I started working with her, she was um, going into kindergarten for the fourth year. She knew uh, about 13 sounds of her alphabetic letters mm -hmm. and couldn't even count to 20. And it's just like God lit my path, and I was um, directed and found direct instruction, which is out of Eugene, Oregon. And that was my main curriculum that I used to get her to learn. Mm -hmm. um, I met the, the man who wrote the curriculum. It was um, amazing during the 60s how he put it together for mastery. And I su supplemented everything that was research-based and proven effective. Mm -hmm. And we did listening therapy. We did Linda Mood Bell. We just integrated. And the first um, year was really hard because her processing was really slow. Mm -hmm. To do reading, math, writing, and spelling would take eight hours. Wow. So then I got her into a listening therapy, and it was just a miracle that she was able to speed up the processing and she could do reading math writing and spelling in two hours versus eight wow. so logically i just put it together and say well let's do twice as many lessons we were able to do first and second grade in one year mm -hmm. uh, she won most improved um, student nationwide mm -hmm. um, through the association of direct instruction and when did she win that award um, she was eight years old when she got that award. Okay, so let me get this straight, Marsha. You were just educating her on your own, and she was just making process, progress always, correct? Yes. Each and, year? And you had to go to mastery. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't master it, we wouldn't move forward. We had to supplement. There's not enough hours in the day in the school to educate a child like Amanda. It needs reinforcement and reinforcement. Um, I remember when she started to learn to read, she says, Mom, I don't need you anymore. I know how to read. She slammed the bedroom door, mm -hmm. and she read over 200 pages with um, Dick and Jane stories okay, okay. from a long time ago. So she loved the reading. She started to love the reading. When did you see the most improvement in her? What age was she? You know what? It, it's, it's hard to say what age because it was ongoing. Mm -hmm. but. Every two years, I would have a psychologist um, do assessments on her, mm -hmm. and she never peaked. I had a mm -hmm. speech pathologist work with her, and she never peaked. She kept on moving ahead and moving mm -hmm. ahead and moving ahead. Uh, one story that I think touched me a lot was when she was in fifth grade, and math was hard for her. And the teacher had her stand up to do math facts. Mm -hmm. um, all the students stand up, and he would rattle off four times eight, nine times two, and if you didn't know the answer, the, the students had to sit down. Mm -hmm. And the teacher got really silent, and he looked at Amanda and says, Amanda, look around, what do you see? 
He says, everyone's sitting down. He says, you won the math facts game. Wow. So uh, we knew it was clicking in. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't easy for Amanda. Um, during the grade school years, I put her in a private school. Mm -hmm. And at home, I would continue with the direct instruction. So she w when she was in second grade, at home I was doing third grade. Mm -hmm. And then when she's in third grade, I was doing fourth grade. School was for socialization, home was for learning, mm -hmm. but I realized she was learning at home and she's learning at school. Mm -hmm. She was transferring the knowledge, she was generalizing, she was integrating, mm -hmm. and then I knew she could learn. You knew she could learn, and not only did she graduate high school with a 4.0 GPA, but she actually graduated from community college before she graduated from mm -hmm. high school. Now, that's crazy, Marsha. And um, what happened was, I could see that she was not absorbing the environment like other kids, so I knew she needed more of it. If you can't mm -hmm. do something, you need more of it. Mm -hmm. And we just continue to plow through. Um, a lot of students that are duly enrolled, they will take their college courses and substitute them for their high school but I wanted her to have it all. So every year for the last four years, she would be taking around four to five high school courses and um, four college courses mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, we got her high school through Florida Virtual School, so she had real live teachers. It was an online program, so I could go into the tutoring mode. Mm -hmm. With Florida Keys Community College, we then, um, took her to the college in Key West twice a week, a lot mm -hmm. of driving. Mm -hmm. And um, the easy courses, we were able to allow her to sit in the class. Mm -hmm. The harder courses, I would be there taking notes and working with the teacher and supplementing her at home to learn. Wonderful. She is amazing. She is. And, and now Amanda has a love for art. And we're going to share this love for art with our viewers this morning and show them some of Amanda's work. And she's going to talk all about how this love began because she is she is a true success story oh, thank so. you she really is we're going to take a quick break right now but we'll be back with amanda right after these messages stay with me